All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at straightening these nasty, cruddy, beat up brake duct shields I found at a swap meet. They, they probably come out of a junkyard somewhere. We're going to turn them in on these nice, shiny things you see here on my truck. Just little TLC is all it takes, and a couple of hammer blows with a hammer. So strap in and let's see what happens. These are their front backing plates for the disc brakes. Um, this one's not bent too bad, but it is bent. You can see, see here how it curls in. And down here at the bottom of this one. The other side, it's mangled up. Um, I'm going to have to straighten that one. I'm not sure how good I can get it, but I can. I will straighten it enough to be able to use it because these are hard to find. Like on eBay or anything. So um, let's do a little bit of metal work and see how this goes. Cover your ears. This is loud. I won't be able to get the final fit until I get the rotor mounted and then uh, put the backing plate on and check it down. But that's a lot better than it was. It's not perfect, but it's way better. Close enough that I can tweak it when it's on the, uh, on the vehicle.
straighten that duck a little bit. Another handy tool not many people know about is a pair of duck bill pliers. These work great on a lot of body work type stuff. They don't crease and bend like a pair of regular pliers would or a pair of channel, like channel locks would. See, you work the work the edge very gently with the pliers and a little guard work, hammer work. In this case, the table is a dolly. Much better. Not perfect, but much better. Again, right there. Being a body man, dents drive me crazy. Nobody will ever see it. One, one rough dent. Now we got the bad one to go. This one's going to be way more worse. place to start and go ahead. This hammer I'm using has curved faces on it so it matches the curve of what I'm working. Another specialized body hammer. Never worked that with a flat edge. You just make a mid flat edge camera.
better. Still not there, but it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to finish it until I get it on the vehicle. And uh keep it going. Yeah, Got a flange right here I don't have in there. I may try to roll that back later with a hammer and dollar. That's that's not bad. That's not it's not perfect. But it's way better than it was. I don't know if you can tell. It's got some shape to it now, that big big dent's gone. been doing this since I was 17 so either professionally or as a hobby So if you can see, um, we're, we're fairly, fairly straight. Hard to show that. It's not perfect. It's got a curve, in, a little bit of a curve in it. The big dent in the middle took that out, flattened that out. It was right up here. Way better than it was. This one, this one has an air bin I can match to the other one. They're not even close to being the same. So, yeah, see, see how far that one is back in. One of these is right, more than likely. If I had to guess, it's this one because it looks less, it looks less bent. Uh, Moving this one out to match that one's not going to be any problem. So, all right. 
like that. So let's wait and see what happens next. All right, I checked this back in plate, and it's definitely still got a twist in it. Um, you can see it's kicked in up here. Bottom looks okay. Um, let me see if I can see. Yeah, the bottom looks pretty good. So it's just that one area up top we got to fix. So that'll be, shouldn't be anything to it. We're using one of the, another one of the body man's favorite tools. I'll show you in just a minute what that is. Yeah, that looks, that looks, that looks much better. I know I'm moving kind of fast. I'm trying to see myself. Okay, hang on. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. As my dad would call them, water pump wire, but it's a crescent wrench. Big, big crescent wrench. You gotta be careful because you'll mar the metal, but uh, you might not want to be stupid here. So, I don't really want to park it against that stop because it'll scratch my paint. So, no, I don't do that. Another block of wood, handy dandy paint panel, paddle. There's a stop over here, and it's, if I go up all the way against it, it's going to scratch my paint. I don't want to do that. Alright, now. Let's see if I can work this out. be a bit tricky so I might take a few tries. Tell you what, let's also curve the top of my bracket. Tell the bracket. Give it just a little more adjustment. Don't hit ouch. Hit that one that time. Hit the other stop. I'm holding this edge so it won't bounce around into my paint. Probably wouldn't do it, but it makes me feel better. But I think that got it. That looks pretty straight. The vent for the air is there. Feels, the gap feels, feels about right. So I think this one's done. It looks pretty straight. That's it. One, one down. And this was the easy one, unfortunately. Um, let's see. I'll have to bring that up a little bit. Uh, let's see. one to go. Yeah. Here's that brake air deflector after it came out of the uh, electrolysis tank. It's ready for sandblast and there's still a little bit of rust left under here you can see. But it's nothing like it was when I started. I'll try and link a picture. I don't have a video of it. But I'll try and link a picture or show a picture of what it was when I started. But that's way better. And what it would have been if I had 
tried to sandblast it from scratch without doing the electrolysis first. This is so much better. I'm telling you guys, try electrolysis, you'll love it. Here, let's see. Here's that brake duct after I sandblasted it. Um, you can just, after it came out of the electrolysis, you saw it. Now this is after sandblasting. No, the rust is gone. The paint's gone. It's, it's clear, it's clean, it's ready to be primed and painted. Um, so electrolysis works. And sand, of course, sandblasting is a great thing too. Also, if you noticed, I'm wearing gloves um, touching these, this freshly sandblasted part. Never, ever, I don't ever touch the freshly sandblasted piece with my bare fingers. You get oil from your fingers on parts. Any of your painter people will know what I'm talking about. Um, you can do it and get away with it, but this it's just not a good thing. You'll get oil, it'll leave fingerprints. It, it just, it's just not good. Painters don't do that. So just, um, that's, I just don't do that. I've got one set of gloves, these, these thin mechanics wear gloves that I only use for painting stuff. I don't use them for anything else. Um, so I can't, don't risk contamination from oil or silicone or anything to just screw up your paint. So anyway, that's that. We prime in later. Here's the second brake duct straight out of the uh, electrolysis tank. Um, you can see it's, I mean, it looks dirty, but it's, the rust is, is 90, 99% gone. A little bit of surface still there. It's, it's extremely clean, way better than it was. Sandblasting this now is going to be no problem. This is the one that was bent up so bad. Um, it's not 100% straight, but I just checked it on the truck and it's pretty darn straight with the rotor, so it's, it's good. Um, I think it'll work just fine. This is the one that was all beat up, the spot in the back where I had to straighten it right here. Um, this is not body work quality because I'm not going to, you know, metal work it or metal finish it or anything, but it's certainly good enough for what it's going to be. So one more trick I thought I'd show, and I didn't I didn't get grab the camera to take film of it. Uh, this is that uh, duct that was so bent. I had to do a little more straightening, dolly and dolly hammer and dolly work, and then I lightly ground over it with some 80 grit um, to to kind of you know take the highs and the lows. Um, it looks much better now. It's got a lot of pits in it, rust pits that. If this was on the outside of a vehicle, I'd have to block this, fill it, and probably block it to get it straight, to get it to look decent. Um, this is a brake duct. I, I should do it, but I'm not going to. It'll be all right. Um, if this was a show truck, which is not, even though some people might, be, not, might disagree with me, I would uh, I'd have to fix it. But it's going to be okay for where it's at. It won't look that bad with, with primer on it. It'll be pitted, but, you know, it's a brake duct. Um, down behind the wheel. Nobody's ever going to see it but me if I crawl up under it. Or dare I say I ever put it in a show and a judge looks under there. He'll see it. But other than that, um, one of the few times you probably ever hear me say it's good enough, but it's good enough. So thanks for looking in. I hope you like what you're seeing. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Uh, I hope you guys are learning something. So, uh, and if you like it, hit the subscribe button. I don't have any idea how many subscribers I'll get from doing this, but Hey, it's worth a shot. So I will see you on the flip side.